a manager of a minor league baseball team. And he was getting very frustrated because his center fielder just wasn't doing his job. Everything that was hit out to the center field went right past him. So he gets so mad, he pulls his center fielder in and he takes his place out in center field. Well, the first ball that is is, uh, hit towards him, takes a bad bounce, misses his glove, and hits him in the mouth. Second ball is a high fly. He has his glove up. It's in the sun. He misses it, and it hits him in the head. The third ball that came from him was a line drive, and he is running towards it to get it. It misses his glove. It hits him in the eye. The manager goes back to the dugout, looks at the guy, grabs him by the uniform, says, You idiot! Look what you've done to center field! I can't even make something out of it. (laughs) We live in a blaming society, don't we? I mean, nobody wants to take responsibility for their own failings. Look at look at the political realm. <laughs> well, it's the Democrats' fault. No, it's the Republicans' fault. No, it's the President's fault. No, it's Congress's fault. Now, you and I know who's to blame. All of them. And us for putting them in office. Okay? But we live in this society where we just want to blame everybody. And the, the interesting thing is, it's always been that way. We go back to the Garden of Eden. And Adam and Eve get... Okay, let me say, they get busted by God. They get caught with their fig leaves on, you might say. So they get in trouble. And God says, what did you do? And Adam says, well, (laughs) that woman that you gave me to be with me, she gave me the fruit and I ate it. He blames Eve. So God goes to Eve and says, what did you do? And she says, well, you know, that serpent, he deceived me, and I ate it. But, you know, one of the worst things about this is, is what Adam did. If, did you hear what he did? What is the first, who was the first person he blamed? God. He says, that woman you gave me. <laughs> Guys, don't try it. <laughs> you cannot blame your wives. and You can definitely not blame God for your failures. There was a Canadian opera singer, Maureen Forrester, and she says, it makes one better, a better person to have had hardships and to have overcome those hardships and to not blame anybody else for your mistakes. It makes you a better person when you have a mistake, when you make a mistake, when you have hardships, when you're under trial, To make it through them and then say, I I was wrong. I screwed up. It's okay to screw up. It's okay. 